Hello, my name is Ellen Euler. I am a lawyer and cultural heritage professional. Present, I have a professorship for library and information science, teaching open access and open data at the University of Applied Science, Potsdam. I have a passion for promoting open access and sharing of cultural heritage. And I have been involved in several open CLAM initiatives throughout my career. I believe in the power of cultural heritage to educate, to inspire and connect people and am committed to making it more widely available to the public. So um, if you ask me um, my experience and main benefits of open CLAM, um, there are three main benefits, in my opinion. Uh, first is increased access to cultural heritage for the public. Um, I think that open claim initiatives make it possible for people around the world to access and learn from heritage collections, regardless of location or socioeconomic status. And of course, there is the reason to foster innovation and creativity um, by making cultural heritage openly available. It can foster innovation and creativity, uh, leading to new ways of interpreting and understanding the past. First, and the, the third reason um, is open CLAM allows and use cultural heritage materials in education and research settings. And I think um, this is most important because honestly, um, you can't interest um, kids for museums or for cultural uh, settings, but schools can. And also in research, it's um, very important to have access. Um, so there can be several barriers to open claim initiatives. And I think one main issue is legal and copyright issues. Um, many cultural heritage institutions um, may be hesitant to make their collections openly available due to concerns about copyright and intellectual property rights. And um, second, funding and resources. Open claim initiatives can be costly and require significant resources, including funding for digitization, cataloging, metadata creation, and which can be a barrier for some institutions. There are technical challenges and um, sometimes also a lack of awareness, um, I think. Some institutions may be unaware of the benefits of open CLAM or may not understand the process and requirements involved in making their collections openly available. And therefore, I think your uh, video session here is very helpful. Um, so I think one insight um, that could be beneficial is understanding the potential of open clam to promote greater inclusivity and diversity in cultural heritage so for example open clam initiatives can make it possible for underrepresented or marginalized communities to access and learn from cultural heritage collections that may have been previously inaccessible to them. And additionally, Open Clam can also provide opportunities for these communities to contribute their own perspectives and narratives to cultural heritage collections and thus promoting a more inclusive and diverse understanding of the past. And uh, furthermore, Open CLAM also allows for creation of new and diverse interpretation of heritage, fostering creativity and innovation, and making cultural heritage more accessible and relatable for a wider audience. So my personal message to those hesitating to open up collections um, is that there may be valid concerns about the legal, financial, and technical aspects of open CLAM, um, but the potential benefits of increased access, education, research, preservation, and inclusivity are significant. So uh, to sum it up, there's 
much more to win um, than to lose. Or I think there's nothing to lose. Just do it.